somebody's birthday today, right in my hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mike wants his birthday breakfast and he's very excited about that. So yeah, Mike is three today, right Mike? Yes? Yes? <laughs> So today is Mike's third birthday, April 30th. And we are going to go oops, to Petco and let Mike, hey, come on, Mike. <laughs> and let Mike pick out something. And I'm going to go to TJ Maxx and get Mike a new bed because he needs one for the new apartment anyways. And yeah, I wish we could go on a walk, but it's like awful outside. Maybe later we can. But Mike's excited for his birthday. So to make Mike's birthday breakfast extra special, we are going to put some American cheese and some egg yolk on it. And then of course, later today, Mike's favorite food in the whole wide world is popcorn. So tonight he's gonna have to have some popcorn as well. Mike's weird. His favorite foods all like start with P. Popcorn, pancakes, and I'm trying to remember what the last one is. But he like, if you make pancakes, he loses it. But if you make popcorn, he literally, like, he is uncontrollable. And he like dives into the popcorn bowl without permission. <laughs> no, you don't have to kennel. Can you come out? Can you sit? Is a very well-behaved dog. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Birthday breakfast. Um, but yeah, I want to bring him to Petco and let him pick out a couple things. And I have heard that there is a policy at Marshalls and TJ Maxx where you can bring dogs in and they don't have to be like um, helper dogs or emotional support dogs, but I don't know if I want to take that risk. And that seems a little busy and I'm not gonna bring him there, but I do want to go there and get him a dog bed because they have pretty good prices. I was gonna hold off until we move because I didn't want to move a dog bed, but then I was like, oh, well, Mike can just sit on the dog bed while I'm driving to the new apartment. So we will be getting him a dog bed today. I heart um, today just to start him off for the season. I know medicine doesn't sound like a good birthday treat, but Mike views like every single thing as a treat. So there you go, Mike. I know. Yeah, like he is not a dog where I need to like hide that in something. I literally could hand him a leaf, like in the position of like, hold it like this, like a treat and then give it and he'd probably just eat it, so. Like literally, if you drop those um, helicopters from trees, if you drop those over him or my parents' dog, Misty, which she's been in a few videos, I don't know if you guys remember her, they will just like catch them and eat them because they're so smart, so smart. Okay, so I decided that first I'm going to go get Mike the bed and let him chew on a bone in his kennel because I have three packages to drop off and I know I don't want to make Mike come there with me and I'm probably gonna get Starbucks too, so. Oh yeah, I keep my packages in this like busted long shop. This one's real and I have another fake one that I usually use because it's way bigger. But yeah, this one was on Mercari for like 10 bucks once and I really like the like floral print and so I was like, I'll just use it as like a beat around carrying, shopping, whatever bag. But yeah, so we're going to post office and then I'm gonna get Starbucks and then TJ Maxx where we're gonna get Mike his birthday dog bed. Mike actually, well, I guess he has had a dog bed. He got one of those Walgreens like Christmas time little kits once, but it was kind of small for him. And I leave that one in Minnesota so he can sleep on something. So yeah, we need to get him a dog bed, okay. Here is our post office. Isn't it actually pretty cool? 
like this big like capital looking kind of office and we're not even like a big city so it's kind of I don't know why we have such an extravagant post office well I got my Starbucks and I ordered it completely wrong so it's so bitter great but I mean I could just go home and add some creamer to it which is what I'm gonna do because oof I like coffee like bitter like coffee flavor in that but like this is bitter Okay, so I'm really confused. The TJ's parking lot is like literally almost empty. Like there's probably maybe like one third of the parking lots full. And at the TJ Maxx in my town, you literally can never find a spot. So I don't get why that's a thing. It's like not that rainy or anything. And it's not nice enough for people to be staying home to like go outside. So I'm confused. But that's okay because then maybe I won't feel uncomfortable and I can like film in there. But yeah, so we're at TJ's and we're going to go get Mike his birthday bed. Also, this angle makes my chin look so prominent and like oversized. Uh. Okay, so we're in the dog bed section and there's a ton of them. I do want to get him like a bigger one. Oh my gosh, this one has bugs on it. But I also don't really like the like tacky ones like this. Like, they're cute, but like, I don't want them. And I really don't like this super flat version like this. I like it to like lift on the sides, but not be too puffy. Like this is too puffy. Same with that one. Or that one, way too puffy. Cole Miller ones and I can't decide which pattern because I also don't like round ones so one of these three okay we've got our dog bed and we are ready to go pick up our son I texted them to Ryan and he said he preferred this blue one I actually preferred the two under the blue one but then I kind of just thought about how we are planning to decorate the house and the stuff we bought already and this definitely does go best with it, probably. Also, this is why I can't take Mike on a walk. Which is really disappointing. It says it's supposed to rain all day, which... Is very disappointing. But yeah, there's our TJs. Which soon I will have a different TJs. And a different post office and all that. But yeah, let's go get Mike, and he can sit in his new bed, and we will go to Petco, since that's the only out and about he's going to get to do today. I guess. Well, we've got the birthday boy now in his bed. Do you like your bed, Mike? Yes? <gasps> yes? <gasps> yes? <laughs> do you like your bed, Mikey? Looks good under you, Mike. Should we go to Petco? Should we get you a birthday present besides your bed? <laughs> okay, let's go. He got all hyped up so he might know where we are. Even though it's not like I bring him here that often. <laughs>
we got Mike some treats. And we got him two toys. And Mike will do a haul for you in the car. We've discovered that Mike is not much of a shopper. He's just an adventurer. Let's see. Got a lobster. Mike really likes crinkly toys, so that's perfect. <laughs> and since he's a posh pet, Mike got a beautiful pink slipper also. <laughs> and some alphabet snacks. Ooh, Mike. Alphabet snacks. <laughs> Have to have one when you get home, huh? If you're nice in the car. If you're pleasant on the car ride, then I suppose you can have some alphabet snacks. <laughs> okay, Mike. Should we go home? Should we go back home? Yes? Yep. Do you want your birthday your birthday letters, Mike? He says, yes. Okay, Mike. Here's the M. Mike. <laughs> Not the K. And the E. Good job, Mike. <laughs> I think he likes his new toys. <laughs> Birthday boy is taking a nap now. We're watching Anne Eckhart. But he fell asleep. Not enough Charlie and Lucy for him, I guess. Well, it's dinner time now. And we're making Mike some pug corn popcorn to put on top of his birthday feast. And he's very excited. Right, Mike? Right, Mikey Poo? Are you hungry? Let's see us. Popcorn, right, Mike? Okay, Mike. You sit? Okay, go ahead. Okay, well, I hope you guys liked a day in the life of the birthday boy, Mike. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Mike actually has his own Instagram and I will link that below. But yeah, thank you for watching Mike's third birthday. I hope you liked his little adventure and I will see you in the next video.